cottage look but yeah so we've spent here enough for or we spent here four days or four full days the well, first few days i was training you guys saw the run and then i went cycling in a garage for one day and uh that was a pretty heavy workout but now i've been resting for three days because we are going to head to Kuusamo where I will be running 24 hours straight and raising money for Pink Ribbon Foundation for cancer research. So I've been planning this for quite some time and I'm super excited to do it. Uh, I'm super happy that my mom is there to support me and I really miss summit days. This feels like one of those, like leaving in the night, it's cold, it's icy, it's a little sketchy. Uh, 15 hours of the 24 hours will be dark, like pitch black. My knee is not 100%, so I'm not sure how the running will go, but it's for a good cause and people are already donating. It's so amazing to get so much support um, and so many people are involved. Just waiting to see how many kilometers I run. Personally, I'll donate one euro per kilometer. I'm running for my dad. He died about four years ago from cancer. And my beloved ex, he had also cancer, but he survived. And I'm running to honor their battles and everyone else's battles. I'm about to get some water for washing our hands and then I need to go fill up the water in the sauna. for cold. I would put the lights on but there is no electricity so I can't. over to the grocery store to do some shopping. That's a lot of crisps and chips and white bread and some crackers, noodles, if mom will be able to make some of that. But just plenty of snacks with fast energy. And I'm gonna be carb loading today and I did that already yesterday. And then this is gonna be stuff I'm gonna be eating tomorrow stuff that mostly mom is gonna bring me over and some of it I'll carry myself. Snacking! So these are rice pies, basically. So they've got like cooked rice and rye crust. And I bought a ton of these for myself for tomorrow and I'm gonna eat a ton of them right now. Because they're so cute. He's got so much snow in his horns or whatever they are. swim after my run there's so much snow i haven't washed my hair in a few days so i'm sort of looking forward for a shower which i need to do as soon as possible because 
my hair takes forever to get dry and I can't really go out to run when it's not dry. It's like 10 hours till my start. But now I'll show you what I'm doing first. So first things first, start charging everything. Power banks, my laptop. What else? I just got myself a new battery. Oh, remember, hmm, the last time I did that run in new shoes, completely new shoes, planning on doing the same this time. Okay, <laughs> so the night before, that's where I'm supposed to go tomorrow. I've gotta check this out now because it's gonna be pitch black. Now I'll just go back to the hotel room Finish charging, finish packing, making little um, little care packages ready for mom to bring me, and then a bit of sleep, and then go. So what's happening right now is that I am trying to decide snacks I'll have tomorrow. So we have with mom, we have decided that she'll come and meet me on three different occasions during my run. Uh, she'll bring me some dry clothing, dry socks and well, everything, uh, some proper food so I don't have to carry everything with me, some water just in case I haven't uh, found any water, and some coffee. So this is excellent service and she'll also bring me more snacks but I have to make the packages so that she'll know what to bring me. Then on our little breaks I'll have some proper food food to eat unlike on hobby so this is like a luxury run but for a good cause good morning it is the morning of my um Sanawha cancer research charity run i made a breakfast it is three three something got some bread with some avocado eggs well i've got two pieces and coffee. It is pitch black outside, very, very snowy, and I'm hoping I won't lose my toes. I am starting my watch and going. See you on our first break. started down there. Where am I? Anyway, it has officially begun. This beginning will be super slow with five tundras to cross, quite a bit of snow, and just trying to navigate in the dark. But I have a headlamp and I have a good cause and every kilometer counts. So I was a bit lost there for a bit, but we found the trail. All right. I see. I just took the wrong, the wrong turn down there. Unsurprisingly, I'm not coming back. I've been getting lost for the first half an hour. Oops. I don't know if you can see any of it, but this is deep, deep snow. I'm here trying to find the markings. I think the trail goes here because I went to the wrong direction just before. I don't think I came from here. <laughs> okay, I am on the right trail. Whew. My energy gels are frozen. I had to put my water bottle in there. But this is so beautiful. Yeah, about an hour to my first refueling station. I am almost at our meeting point except I need to slow down because mom just told me that she's running late. I feel I feel good, strong-ish and yeah 
I'm so happy I bought these shoes yesterday and these gaiters. I would be in so much trouble if I hadn't because all my running shoes, I thought it was going to be like a cool summer day. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking, but it's just been such a warm fall. So I thought it was going to be like dry trail, nice autumn colors. It is full on snow. So change of plans. We couldn't find each other with mom, but I found water. So I just decided that I'll go. I don't feel like waiting. <laughs> so maybe in another 35 kilometers. Oh, check this out. Mom. Uh, first stop, I've run 58 or 59 kilometers now. Now I'm gonna start charging things. It's been 11 hours. Mm. Waiting for things to charge, having some reindeer soup, bread, coffee, finally. last minutes of daylight so I thought I'd film now but we are a bit over 65 kilometers still very icy uh, sometimes snowy not very rocky and icy but I've been able to run and get a good pace after after a proper meal oh my goodness that helped and I was so dehydrated I drank only two liters of water within the first 11 hours and didn't really eat enough either so I feel so energized now compared to what I was before going. The situation is now this, that for the past 15 kilometers or maybe almost 20, 20 my knee has been hurting a lot. And I just talked to Don and he said that it will, it's not worth it to agitate it so bad that I will have to once again take a break in training or do different kind of training. And frankly, I agree. I just got back into the swing of things. We will finish at 87. 17 hours and 87 kilometers in the winter wonderland. This is very, let's say, frustratingly slow. Anyway, well, the good news is that I have felt strong all the way. One of the reasons why it's kind of disappointing to not continue. Every kilometer will push my next training endurance training further so end of story and as i should after a run like that it's time for recovery i'm gonna go in the sauna and to swim i just have a new bikini so i'm showing it off <laughs> but yeah this is what it oops <laughs> i'm going what it looks like outside right now can't tell it's snowing oh uh, going in there and Dawn said I would need to do this for 15 minutes <laughs> told me that I need to do twice 15 minutes and I think the first round was a bit short so let's go for a second round I don't know what he was thinking I don't think he was thinking